Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and it's been a really long time since I have done Katia V5 tutorials. So uh, today let's design something in Katia V5 and right now as you can see I have a design uh, self-tapping scope as the name suggests. So it's a perfect design. And let's see how we can design this in Katia V5. We will first maximize the window, then go for start, mechanical design, part design, and type in self tapping screw. Press OK. We are in the part design workbench right now, so we'll start with some sketches. Obviously, let's do the head part of the screw. So we will utilize the XY plane, go to sketch, and let's say we select a circle, centered the origin. Let's give it a dimension of 4.3. Uh, don't freak out as if it's too small. Nothing to worry right now then exit the workbench and let's do the padding so the head of our screw will be ready 0.25 okay now fit all in and we have our head right here let's do the neck part so for the neck part we will be doing some sketch and we will utilize our YZ plane, go to sketch, then take a profile and draw something like this. Alright, go to constraint, give this a dimension, give a distance for this one and this point and this point should be so our diameter was 4.3 so it will be 4.3 divided by 2 right this should be 1.1 and this distance is 1.3 now we have to go inside these two edges. Okay, Let's zoom in. Yeah, that's perfect. So exit the workbench now and go for a shaft. Select your axis, preview it. Press OK. Looks perfect for now. Let's do another sketch so that uh, we get another little bit of neck over here. So go for another YZ plane, go to sketch. Similarly to the last profile, we'll do one more profile over here. So yeah, then this edge and this edge will coincide this should be 1.1 perfect now this should be 0.84 and let's say this distance from here to here is 1.45 Let's exit the workbench, go for another shaft, this axis, so you have to select your axis, Z axis, let's say, preview, and yeah, perfect. So our head is ready for the screw, let's do the body part 
So for the body part, let's select this sketch face, go to sketch and select circle, go for a circle, give it a dimension of 1.68, then exit the workbench and let's do the padding for the body. So let's say it's 6.524. Some weird dimensions. Don't worry about that for right now. So our body of the screw is ready. Let's do the profiling for the screw part. All right. Go for YZ plane sketch and then choose your profile you have to draw something like this all right <laughs> hmm. now we want this edge to be projected so for that go to your projection and go for project 3d silhouette edges and select this edge Alright, so your edge is projected, make it construction line and then this edge and this edge should be coincident. Alright, and then this point is at a distance of 0 0.4 right let's draw a center line so that your sketch don't messes up so center line and then select this and this and this and go for symmetry constraint right after that your this edge should be around say 0 0.1 okay and distance of this one from the center should be 1.1 so right Okay, and the final distance for this one should be 0 0.4 so now our sketch is fully defined let's go for a shaft again so to the shaft select axis okay go for Z axis preview and our screw part is ready and now we can make a pattern of it so for that let's go to rectangular pattern and let's go for uh, eight instances and let's change it to instances and length the parameter section you go for instances and length type in instances as 8 and length should be 5.124 let's go for a z direction a current body should be your last shaft so each uh, distance between the two screw part is 5.24 right once you're satisfied with your work press ok and then let's do the top part for our screw this part right over here go to visit plane go to sketch 
and then just draw a final profile like this let's say this diameter or this edge length is 0 0.84 and this over here is 1.25 now make sure it comes at these two edges so right click and coincidence and then you can exit the workbench and go for another shaft with this axis right nothing complicated here yeah? let's go for uh, the uh, the sketch where we insert our screwdriver so it should be over here so let's select the uh, face go to sketch and then we have to do some profiling so for that I will be using a centered rectangle like this another one like this alright go to constraint give it a distance of 0 0.6 and uh, same distance for this as well 0 0.6 also distance of this edge from here should be one so the distance of this edge should be one right let's go for trim just trim your inside lines once you are done exit the workbench and then for the <coughs> we have to like uh, create a multi-section so we'll draw another sketch on a plane so for that let's take a plane right so let's go for a plane from this 0 0.7 perfect then we will select the plane we just created and go for a sketch and we'll do the profiling again so let's go for center rectangle like this another center rectangle like this go for dimensioning so distance between these two should be 0 0.4 similarly for this one 0 0.4 and from here to this axis Point seven five from this axis to this length point seven five. Now exit your okay. I forgot to trim it, so go for sketch again. Select your trim, remove all the intersection lines, and then you can exit the workbench. Now, after that we can give two lines so let's say let's go for line again select make sure your line type is point point and let's say point one is this point two is that preview it and okay that looks fine now the another another line which we can do is between this point and this point so let's go for line again set this point and this point 
okay now we are good to go with the multi section so let's go for a multi section let's remove multi section and for that let's go for this sketch and this sketch for the guides you can give this line and this line let's see how the preview is all right okay you just have to change the direction so change this here and this one also i think okay all we have to do is we can edit the closing point so replace this point and right now it's perfect so there is a little bit of trick over here so what it is doing is i will i will explain you so your closing point 1 should be aligned with the closing point 2 in in the form of direction so it's right now in downward so you can see the other point is also downward and uh, the point should be in a collinear way so I have selected the point for the line which I have created earlier so you can see this point is connected with that point it should not be like this point and over here that point so it will create a spiral or something like that make sure your closing points are aligned your direction is aligned that's looks perfect for now right so that's it all you can do now is you can assign material let's say i can hide my plane also you can hide my axis also so that my model is clear all right you can go for rectangular pattern let's say five let's go for three select your part body Reference element direction should be let's go for x axis. Let's increase the spacing. And yeah, you can create multiple bodies like this. Looks pretty neat. So that's how you can design uh, self-tapping screw in Katia V5. I hope you guys like this and if you have any doubts feel free to comment down below. Also subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much guys and peace.